So Keith, the upcoming weekend is going to be the last one of February, so hooray for that. But it sounds like it's going to be a tale of two seasons. Yeah, yeah and if you're superstitious about March starting one way and ending the other, then cancel everything for the end of March because it is a, <laughs> it looks like it will start off quite tame. We'll get there. Currently, temperatures are around freezing along the coastline, starting to get chilly in the mountains. Interestingly, the official high temperatures for today are the following, and you say, well, I don't remember being that mild today. It was at 3 or 4 in the morning, and then temperatures fell from there. So officially going to go down as 45 in Portland, 43 in Bangor, one of those rare, super early high temperatures that kind of skews how you feel about the day. The biggest problem with today was the winds, and they're starting to settle now. They were 35, almost 40 miles an hour through a good part of the day today, getting to about 15, 20, 25 miles an hour now, so starting to slacken, that will be the case overnight tonight. It's going to be cold tonight. I mean, um, not really that far below average, but compared to where we've been, it will feel very chilly with single digits and teens along the coast. Tomorrow's a nice bright day. We drop the winds or the significant winds at least, uh, but temperatures still struggle. So we only get to around freezing or so. So it's a below average day, but it's nice and bright. So I think it'll feel pretty decent. We start with sun on Saturday and here comes our next storm system. We talked a little bit over the past few days about a huge difference in computer model guidance between the GFS, which had rain up into Canada and the European model that was much colder. Well, the, the GFS has kind of come to the European models uh, camp now. And so we're starting with snow probably even along the coastline on Saturday late morning into the early afternoon, but changing over very quickly to rain. That rain snow line starts pushing inland through the afternoon. Meanwhile, down east starts to snow, changes over to rain there as well. And that rain snow line probably gets into the foothills on Saturday afternoon, if not briefly the mountains before this thing wraps up. So for uh, a lot of the state, it will change over to rain at some point. Quickly enough along the coast, there's no accumulation. Coating to two inches in Bangor, Lewiston, but I think it's slushy. Two to four in the mountains, but full disclosure, they probably will briefly at least see some rain showers. But look at Sunday behind it. I've really liked Sunday a lot uh, from the beginning of the forecast period, and it looks good. Upper 40s to around 50 degrees, probably just as mild on Monday, if not warmer. If that rain shower gets out of here Monday by, say, 10 a.m., then we're going to be over 50 easily. And then this Tuesday, <laughs> which, you know, nobody should be surprised how that's going to happen, going from about 50 to about 25 and then clouds increase, another storm possible on Thursday. It's a little rude, but then again, given the overall pattern here for the beginning of March, we can deal with it. Oh, uh, worth it. Yeah, absolutely. We will take it. Keith, thank you.